The poltergeist, or playful spirit, has been for centuries a familiar figure in the literature of psychical research. No one has ever seen him, no one has ever proved that he really exists. And while sophisticated minds of the 20th century may scoff at the idea of an invisible imp who maliciously moves furniture and shatters crockery, there are literally thousands of cases of such spontaneous physical phenomena which cannot be otherwise explained. There is, for example, the case of Mr. Playfair, the Miller of Kent. J.C. Playfair, owner of the furnace mill at Lamhurst, Kent, was a solid and practical man. Hence, when the hired man informed him on a certain May morning in the year 1906 that a mysterious visitor had entered the stables during the night, Mr. Playfair was slightly annoyed. Now, could anyone get in the stables? Every door's locked and bolted, and you and I have the only keys. He didn't need a key, sir. It was one of the playful spirits. Some folks call him the poltergeist. Oh, for heaven's sake, Scoblin. How many times have I told you there are no... I know, sir. But just the same, sir. I wish you'd come out to the stables and look for yourself. And so, Mr. Playfair, mumbling his disgust over the whole silly business, followed his hired hand out to the stables. Good Lord! Look at the horses. They've all been turned around in their stalls. I sir. And the mare, she's gone. I sir. Cobbley, you've done it yourself. There isn't room to turn those horses around like that. They'd have to be led out of the stalls and led back in again through this door. And the door was bolted. I know, sir. But I haven't so much as touched him. Now, where's my mare? She couldn't possibly have got out. This is ridiculous, Cobbley. The whole thing's perfect. Listen, sir. Great Scott. What is it? The barrel of lawn, sir. Up in the loft. He pushed it downstairs. The spirit's still in here. Spirit nothing. Nobody but a man could have moved that barrel. You up there. Come down. Come down, I say, or I'll come up and get you. But no one came down. And when Mr. Playfair, stepping over the lime barrel at the foot of the stairs, climbed up to the loft, he found it quite empty. He was on his way back to the ground floor again, when suddenly... The water butt, sir, standing right there in the corner. He just turned it over. The water butt? Good Lord, man. You and I together wouldn't have the strength to budge it. Well, he did, sir. And that means he's right here in the room with us. And that means I'm getting out. Cobbley, wait a moment. Come back. We are not leaving here till we've found my mare. The A room is the only place left, and she couldn't very well be in there. Now, could she? The hay room was a tiny space adjoining the stable, and the doorway to it was scarcely wide enough for a man, much less a horse, to squeeze through. Nevertheless, Mr. Playfair, having no place else to look, and ready by now to believe almost anything, did pull open the door and squint into the gloomy, malodorous room. Gobbly, look! She is in here. Now, how on earth could she have gotten through this narrow little door? Of course, any sensible and civilized person of the 20th century knows that there are no such creatures as poltergeists. And yet, the miller's horses were turned about in their stalls, and the lime barrel and the water butt were upset, and it was necessary to remove a partition to get the mare out of the hay room. And though we may dismiss, with a superior smile, the idea of a playful spirit, these remain facts. Facts incredible, but true. (laughs) 